All right, what's up? It's your boy, E Right Guy, and I want to make this video to dedicate to anybody that wants to become a dietitian. So, this includes people, kids that are in high school that are getting ready to go to college, people that are in college and maybe want to change over uh, to dietetics, or somebody that's already been graduated and kind of want to pursue a career as a dietitian. So, first and foremost, um, you need to go to this website called eatright.org. That's the official website for the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics. And you need to go and find what colleges in your area are accredited. They have accredited programs for uh, nutrition and dietetics. Because that, that's very important. Because they do have some colleges and some institutes that offer nutrition programs, but they're not accredited. And if you get a bachelor's degree in those programs, you will not be eligible to get into an internship. So first, go look at the colleges that are in your area and see which ones offer an accredited program. And so once you do that, um, just to let you know, you probably, you're going to be taking a lot of science classes. So if you're not really big into science, this, might, this may be the wrong major for you. Or I'm not going to say it's the wrong major for you. You're just going to have to bite the bullet and get used to it. So it's not really that much math. It's, sometimes it's a lot of writing. But it's mostly a science major, nutritional sciences. Because it is a science, especially knowing um, how nutrients are absorbed and metabolized in the body. So, and another thing you need to know about this uh, major, you have to do an internship to become a dietitian. And it's different from a lot of other fields because you have to do your internship after you graduate from college. So it's not like other majors where you do your internship like in the summertime um, while you're still an undergrad student. You have to wait until you have a bachelor's degree. If you do not have a bachelor's degree, from an accredited college in nutrition and dietetics, you can you are not eligible for an internship. And to let y'all know, I don't want to discourage y'all, but I, I need to let the truth out because I didn't really notice when I got into the program. But there's like a 50% chance that you get matched into an internship. So there's a lot of people that graduate with nutrition degrees that never become dietitians. And you, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of hard to find a job in the nutrition field without being a dietitian because most people want that accreditation. So that that's something that could make you question some things because only a 50% chance. And let's say once you graduate from college and you usually start applying, you start applying for internships your senior year and you get matched that spring. So let's say you don't get matched. You have to wait a whole nother year to reapply to the matching process. Because like internships, like the one I went to, they only select, select 10 people per year. And it's a year, it's a nine month program. So they only select 10 people every year. And so you're gonna be competing with people from all across the country. Cause I had people from, I had a girl from Kentucky, Texas, Mississippi, um, Colorado, like people everywhere compete for these internships. So it's very competitive and that's that's just something to know. I don't want to discourage y'all, but I want y'all to know that before y'all dig, before y'all uh, actually plan on getting in this major. It's very competitive. And so some of the opportunities you can have once you become a dietitian is you can work in food service, you can do clinical, which is what I do. That's that's what most dietitians do, especially starting off as working clinical. I think it's really good to do that because you get exposed to so much and you get it's a good entry level job to get a lot of experience. You can work community based with public health, you can do sports, you can do you can become a chef, do culinary. It's so many things you can do. Um, you can even do your own, uh, create your own business, your own consulting firm, and uh, because everybody's interested in nutrition, whether you like it or not, and uh, the number one killer of people is cardiovascular disease, and that can be prevented just by proper nutrition. So I think going into the future, a lot of people are going to 
uh, need di dietitians because it's a lot of misinformation out there and we need professionals that are experts in nutrition to lead the way. But I kind of went off topic right there. But um, but yeah, just, just to let y'all know, if you ever want to get in dietetics, you're going to have to get a bachelor's degree from an accredited college. Once you're done with that, you have to do an internship. They're usually nine months, nine to 12 months. Some of them are longer than that is if they offer a master's degree uh, with the internship. And also, once you're finished with the internship, you have to pass uh, the RD exam, which is like a 120-something question exam. It covers everything. I forgot um, how many exactly how many questions they are. And then once you pass that, you have to maintain uh, continuing education credits. And you have to do 75 hours every five years. And they're not really that hard, especially if you're a member of the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics. They, they send out monthly, new, uh, monthly magazines with uh, opportunities to get those free CEUs or continuing education hours. And you have to maintain that every five years. And... Pretty much, this is a, once you start working as a dietitian, it's a very, we don't get paid as much as other health professionals, but the good thing about being a dietitian is it's very stress-free. It, you're not really stressed out, and you're more of an educator than anything, because I work in a hospital, I work around a lot of nurses, and a lot of those nurses are stressed out, and I've heard of a lot of dietitians that just because we don't get paid as much as other healthcare professionals, they tend to switch fields and I've heard of some people switch into nursing but I after talking to nurses I think I like my job uh, and I'm good where I'm at but yeah it's a lot of opportunities out there in nutrition I just wanted to make this video to kind of um, detail some of the things you may go through um, y'all have a nice day it's your boy E-Right guy